Hey, good morning, Megan. Good morning. We're just waiting here at the storage unit to get in. Uh, one of our repeat customers, she's hired us a couple times. She's clearing out her whole storage unit uh, for her and her couple of her family members. They share one and they want everything out. So sounds like we're gonna have to cut the lock off. Uh, so we brought the multi-tool and a grinder and I think she has bolt cutters. So we'll see what, what it takes to get into this unit, but we'll be able to, uh, to clean it out for her. She thinks it's multiple loads. We'll see, time will tell. And after that, we got a couple jobs out in Cave Creek then a uh, remodeling debris pickup this afternoon up north in Black Canyon City, and then another job back in Anthem. So four or five jobs today, it should be a good one. up our first load going to the donation center now trailers getting full all sorts of cool old stuff and then the truck's full too so <laughs> it's only six minutes away so we're not worried about getting on the freeway are we megan it's a sweaty one today yeah dripping sweat that's good we're working Feels good. <laughs> doing the final sweep out those items the customer wanted to hang on to some cool antiques and family valuables this is our second load to the donation center. So we're about to head out. It's been a good day. We started with cutting off a lock. But that storage unit, Kathy's such a good customer. She's wonderful. She's like the third or fourth time she's hired us actually. But my first time at the storage unit, her parents have had this storage unit, I guess her family has for 10 years, 300 something a month. I mean, factor that out, right? Maybe three to four grand a year for 10 years, 30 to $40,000. So she's relieved. 2009, that's crazy. It's cleaned out, it's done. On to the next. Is that as big as you? It's a beer cooler of some kind. Looks like metal. Some of this stuff over here, we gotta get loaded up. You ready, Megan? We'll just throw it on your back. Feeling str <laughs> Two by four, a four by four. Four wheel dolly, a two wheel dolly. Mrs. Muscle and myself, <laughs> we made it work. So it took to get it to the curb, get it tipped up on its vertical end, and then lay it down into the trailer. So job well done, Megan. Let's go pick up another fridge. What do you say? Yeah, that's the spirit. This is our next pickup. Time to load in the trailer. Then I'll show you the view from the street. It's really pretty. We're up on a All right, fridge is loaded. Check it. Oh, you can't see it from here. When I was driving down the hill, you can see the Taiwan chip plant that's being built over there. Pretty wild. Well, time to get this unloaded before the dump closes, get these fridges recycled. Then we got a couple more jobs, one of which is time consuming, a bunch of construction rubble, and the other is a rug under a heavy table. So the we'll scales see. at the uh, dump this afternoon. They're kind of busy on Saturdays. Uh, 1,460 pounds, it's about a three quarter ton. And the total cost was $32.12. It's really amazing how fast this dump fills up. Like, shockingly fast. <laughs> okay. Some stuff getting kind of wedged. We have to move this around and pull forward. Just getting into Black Canyon City, doing a remodeling debris. Cleaning In 1.6 miles. A mile. pile of rubble for a general contractor friend of ours. He normally gets dumpsters delivered, but um, didn't make sense to get a dumpster this time around, so. Clean it up for a beautiful view. Looking down on Black Canyon City. Blue skies, clouds in the air. Stunning. All right, here's the pile. Copper wire we can recycle, obviously, all this sheetrock and junk, trash kind of mixed in. Let's take a shout out to 310 Dust Control. What a cool company that is. Gonna go around the back side. It's a nice little wall. So let's see. Yeah, it's just remodeling, you know, demo debris, pretty normal stuff. I guess they already filled up one or two 40 yard containers and this is just some random uh, debris that the contractors are leaving behind. So we'll get it cleaned up. Job update, pulling out some copper wire. 
out of the pile so we can recycle it. We're about, oh, 50%. Check out this view, though. It's so quiet. They're just mountains for miles. There's a freeway down there in the valley, but can't hardly hear it. It's just beautiful out here. What a cool place All to right, live, This huh? job is done. They got their uh, side of the house back. They can do their electrical inspection on Tuesday. They're ready to go. Trailer is, oh, maybe half full, but I'll bet it's more than a ton. And look at this view. Whoever lives here or is gonna live here sure has a beautiful view of the mountains and the valley and just it's pretty, it's super, super nice. A lot of hiking and outdoor activities to do around here. But we're ready to head out. We still got one more job today. It's almost five o'clock on Saturday and we're tired and sweaty and hot and dehydrated and hungry. And let's go finish this last job. We're just trying to bark at the coyote. Yeah, that's enough barking. Oh, blends in so fast. Wow. Just pulled the rug out from underneath this beautiful table. And we're going to haul that out. That's our last job of the day. Javelin Peak. On the right is Daisy Mountain. Welcome to New River, Arizona. We're going to call it a night. Time to get some cold beverages and jump in the pool and clean off. Y'all have a good weekend.